This is the Xbox. Yeah, I know it sounds like a gaming console, but it's not actually a gaming console. It's um, it's a box for uh, Molex or any other car which has a tow bar. But it makes sense for Molex because you know the Molex does not have uh, um, ability to have a roof rack because of these doors. So unfortunately, yes, you have to find another solution, and of course the solution is to put uh, a box behind the car. So actually, it kind of makes sense in many ways because. You know, uh, uh, traditionally you have to put stuff on the roof and that has some disadvantages, especially in an SUV like this because it's already kind of tall and then you have to like uh, climb the car to grab stuff. And I heard more or less owners complain that um, the roof box makes some noise, during, especially during high speed. Uh, so, you know, in many ways it makes perfect sense to have, to have a box behind here where you can put all your crap. Uh, it's actually pretty large and this one it comes in two sizes uh, and you might wonder what the heck is this well it's um, the box itself is just a standard box and also the mount is just a standard mount and then some guy Norwegian guy he put them together and he like uh, wielded them together so it becomes this box here and he called it the Xbox maybe it was uh, he made them especially for uh, Molex but you can actually use it in other cars and um, this one is the big one, uh, 210 centimeters wide. And it looks freaking wide, but you know what? It is actually it's only slightly wider than the body of the Molex. That just shows you how freaking big the Molex is. And it's like, it's not as wide as the mirror. So it's totally legal to use it. Uh, you don't need any like extra documents for it. And also the box is already behind. I mean, sorry, it's already under the, uh, the license plate, so you don't need to have an extra license plate or whatever, you know. And you can open and close it, uh, the, the back door, uh, without interfering with the box. And uh, you can also back up to a supercharger and plug it in. You just have to stretch the cable slightly, but it works, yeah. You just park at the supercharger like uh, a newbie, like most people do. <laughs> and then it's fine. Um, and then it's waterproof. It has this uh, rubber ceiling, so it's waterproof. You can put stuff in there. It takes up to 60 kilos. And well, it's actually so big, you can probably put like two dead bodies in there, maybe even three if they are Asians. Uh, and um, uh, what else? Well, well um, it got, also comes in a smaller version, which is um, 150 centimeters wide. So this one is the big one. and. Why do you need 210? Well, because uh, Norwegians love going skiing and uh, some of the skis, they are very long. So 210 should be enough for the long skis. And yeah, uh, why would you use this one instead of uh, like, a, like a ski rack that uh, Tesla has? Well, I've heard some discussions. I don't ski myself, but I've heard discussions. Uh, Norwegians, they kind of complain that you know if they use this like... Um, uh, exposed, um, what call it, exposed mounts. Uh, in winter, the skis will be full of schmutz. Uh, that's not good. Uh, but with this box, everything in there is uh, clean. And you can actually, you don't have to use this only for, for skis. You can use them for regular luggage. Um, actually, it makes sense to you know, bring, bring luggage in there, but only maximum 60 kilos. Uh, the wonder of this one versus um, a trailer is that um, with this one you don't have any speed restrictions. In, in Norway at least, if you pull a trailer you can only go uh, maximum uh, 80 kilometers per hour. With this one you can do 120 if you like or even, maybe even faster. And I also measured the consumption, that is very important. How much does the consumption go up? Okay, I tried the 90 km per hour test and 120, a kind of high speed test. Well, okay, there might be some Germans watching and they're going like, 9, 120 is not high speed. Okay, well, um, in Norway, it's barely legal you have to drive 120. But the result is that uh, this box, because it's more or less behind in the drag zone, it only, like, only um, increases the consumption by about 11 to 12 percent. That's not much at all. And the box can take about half a cubic meter of um, 
luggage. <laughs> and basically, it doubles the cargo space of the car because, okay, well, this car can carry a lot of items, cargo, but practically you can't put in one cubic meter in here. Like, I usually count only about half a cubic meter in a Model S or X. So yes, there you have it. Um, would I use one? You know what? I might want to try one because uh, maybe it's the smaller version or yeah, I'm not sure about the big one, but um, <clears throat> we are going to like, we might go on a road trip this summer with the uh, Amaris family. Uh, yeah, and that means we'll be five people in the car. <laughs> and with five people in the car, we can't have too many seats folded. And that means limited cargo space. And how can you extend it? Well, yeah, you can put this box in ba back there. Um, maybe the smaller one, I'm not sure, the smaller or the big one. But it will greatly increase the cargo capacity without, like, without causing too much trouble for the consumption or the practicality of the car when using it. So yes, there you have it, uh, the, the X-Box. <laughs> Yeah, um, so this is just a short review. I haven't tested it. I might do like a full road trip with it one day, but um, we'll see, yeah. Uh, all right, so anyway, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. I will try to answer them as much as possible, yeah. And of course, if you like this video um, and you want to support me, I have this Patreon link. Uh, you know, nowadays, I, I, al I already quit my job, office job, and from now on, I will try to make more videos. And if you want to see more videos, you can uh, help me, support me uh, via the Patreon. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, you don't have to pay that much. You know, only one, one dollar per month will help a lot. If 10% of my subscribers gave me one hour, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. If 10% of my subscribers gave me one dollar per month, I could just do videos full time and I wouldn't have to take any Nimber trips. I mean, I do like Nimber trips, but just for the fun of it. But nowadays, yes, I have to do some extra trip just to you know, pay my bills. But anyway, yes, um, that's the short review of uh, the Xbox. So I hope you like it. And if you hate it, yeah, yeah, okay. If you hate it, then you should also comment it because, <laughs> okay, okay, I have to admit, it doesn't look that great. Um, maybe it, if it was in the same color of the car, it would look greater. But you know, you can just, uh, I guess you could just spray uh, paint it or whatever, or plus plastic dip it or something. Because this, this is just, it's not like mass produced. It's, uh, yeah, it's like custom made and you can always customize it. So yes, uh, that's it for now then. <laughs>